Hello, ladies. Hello. Hold on. I, I always decide that the best time to check my phone is when the stream begins. Hello. I'm really proud of today's stream title. I think the title Death's Door, more like Death Snore, uh, I'm going to bed night night. I think that's funny. That's a really good one, if I do say so myself, which I do. I definitely do. Um, I'm potentially... I'm not, like, tired today. I don't feel tired right now. But I also woke up at about 8.15 today. And then had breakfast. And then went to the gym. And then came back home, showered, made lunch, went to university. Did like a day of getting back into the swing of reading papers, which... Those things are boring. Yawn. Um, I also forgot how hard it is to stay monti motivated. <laughs> Me when I'm motivated. Um, to stay motivated when uh, your only task is read papers, try not to look at TikTok. And it's like, this is a real challenge for me. Most of the time I don't go on TikTok, you know? Like, I actually don't spend a lot of time on that app. And then the second it's my most reasonable alternative to read stinky paper, mm, that app looks appealing. Honk shoo, honk shoo, honk me, 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 me. Exactly. Exactly. You had a fun day doing birthday things? Oh yeah, Blue Green's birthday. Happy birthday, Blue Green. Um, what did you do? Did you have a good time, Trash? Did you, did you go anywhere special? Or did you just, you know, stay in and relax and have a nice time? My last birthday, I had an exam, so I've forgotten. I've forgotten what it's like to have a joyful birthday. I, I hope Blue Green had a good day. I hope there were no exams. <laughs> if I had to give the number of exams preferable to have on a birthday, it would be zero. Mm -hmm. Like zero exactly. Zero exams per birthday. Went to Wagamama's for lunch and shopping. Oh, that sounds good. Wagamama's is good lunch. Mm, that's, that's incredibly good lunch. I'm jealous. I just had, like, bread. <laughs> I ate bread and raspberries, and I was like, call it a day. Wagamama's is good food. I miss food. I miss restaurants. It's been, like, a week. Too long. Too long. Too long to go without restaurants, honestly. There should be a restaurant every day, and that should be the minimum. I should be able to afford a restaurant a day. For at least one meal a day. Okay. So... Uh, we're so close. This is for Vigor, so we need one more green thing. I really want one. I want one more green thing so badly. Gyoza, yasai, yakisoba, and miso soup. Yasai yakisoba is really good. Like, I've kind of avoided that one because I think it has onion in it. So most of my life I've been like, I'm not going to have that. It's not worth trying to have to pick out the onion. But last time I had Yusai Yakisoba, I was like, I'm just going to do it. And then if there's big pieces, I'll eat them. Little pieces, I'll eat. And it was so yummy. So stupidly yummy. And the veg gyoza pop off every time. I'm not a miso soup fan. I don't know why. It just tastes like a salty broth. So maybe it's the fact that I'm not a soup fan. And I'm also not a salt fan that combined to just make miso soup kind of doesn't hit. It hits different, but in a bad way. Yeah, the Yusai Yakisoba. Silly Corvid light, which is perfect for this stream. A Corvid light? Like a little, like a little lamp that's like a little crow? Fellow biped? Could these human hands prep you a meal? They sure could. I really hope when Jefferson makes a meal I hope actually that Jefferson doesn't make a meal with the multi-digited mammal hands. I'd prefer that those um, obvious corpse hands are kept away from my, my octopus. Wait, I'm being served octopus? By squid. Interesting. Uh, miso usually hate mushroom, but like, yeah, yeah. I like mushrooms. Gimby mushrooms, basically. I'll take mushrooms every day of the week. 
Um, literally every single day. I want to make a mushroom pasta. Send a photo to Discord. Good, good, good. I want to see the Corvid light. Take me down to the Corvid. Let me see it light up. Okay. Hidden path next to an elevator in the center of the cemetery after cross the Great Bridge. I think that's the one we haven't done yet. Behind a powerful witch's house lies a secret accessible from the west side. Okay. This one's new. I like that the game does this so you don't have to look up a walkthrough, but you also do get hints. Ooh, okay. A stray bull carriage may grant you access to its secrets. That's all I have. Excellent. In stream chat, also color changing light. Color changing lights are honestly so fun. Oh, trash, that's wonderful. That is wonderful. Uh, does it come with one of those little remotes where you can change the colors or is it more like on a cycle? I mean, that's delightful. Did you happen to, is that like a Halloween decoration? Because it's really good, but it's giving like hidden gem Halloween decoration from a Wilco's vibes. Truly. They're fun hints, they are. Fun hints from a fun, totally alive, totally not a squid guy. Squid games? More like squid guy, who's not a squid and is instead a human male. A human guy. Okay, so the first one, I do want to do the boss today. I think that would be fun to at least try, but it would be nice to go in with an extra piece of health. Um, behind a witch's house lies a secret accessible from the west side. Behind the house. So I think we need to go to the gardens and then head west. So that's this way. I drank so much tea today. I had green tea, peach iced tea, raspberry and pomegranate boba. Raspberry and pomegranate boba. <sighs> that one hits different. Green tea is delicious. Peach iced tea, I am honestly kind of mid on. Just because, I don't know. Okay, yeah, let's do the estate. Just because I find that generally peach iced teas taste so sweet that I'm distracted by it. Like, I can't think about the fact that it's enjoyable because I'm distracted by the fact that it tastes just so sugary. Um, I wish I liked it more. Green tea is good though, and the raspberry pomegranate boba sounds like a dream. Hmm, that was fun. Right, so I need to go on the west side and it's accessible Uh, it's accessible by a gap. So it's behind, it's to the west side behind the mansion. Accessible via a gap. So this is west. Okay, we can't get over there, that's fine. We can get in here though! Look at us go! I knew it. Cycles through colors, but it's fun. It's from Tiger. Oh, from Tiger! Oh, Tiger, the, the shop Tiger has some, um, excellent, wait, what? Hold on. Am I wrong? Wait, okay, so there's an area around there. So it's the right kind of vibe, but I have to get at it in a new way. I have to look at it from a different angle. There's another gap. Okay, I'll check out this final area another- uh, I'll check out this area a second time. Ah, uh, wait, 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 I see the gap, I see it. I see it with my eyes. Here's the gap, then there, and then here. Please be green. No! It's pink! I hate the colour pink! The colour pink killed my family! I'm upset. I'll make you good peach iced tea. If you could convert me to being a peach iced tea fan, I, I, on, listen, I would love it. I would happily become a fan of peach iced tea. Because as it is, if I have iced tea, I, I don't know, I go for something that I am more trustworthy, I think will be bitter. Like, no one makes sweet lemon iced tea. Or like, I don't know. No one's making sweet green iced tea, if you know what I mean. Those, those things are gonna be bitter as hell. 
Just as I like it. Um. Tea is good, though. Even, like, hot teas are good. I, um... In my journey to drink less Diet Coke, I've been drinking a lot more tea. Like, today I'd had, like, a... Oh, God, it's not even all grey. I have no idea what it is, actually. It's just, like, decaf, like, breakfast tea um, with almond milk. And it's yummy. But I have a, uh, a mango and coconut tea, which is the best tea. It's the best tea I've ever had in my life. It... It goes so hard. It's the best tea in the world. It is my best tea, in fact. Um, right, that was openings in the hedge. Even before you reach the inner furnace, a strable carriage will grant you access. So this takes us to the inner furnace. So if we get here and then leave, we should be good. Should we go to drink at work? Okay, yeah. I think, to be fair, your, your work, Peach Ice Tea, it's probably the only place I'd have peach iced tea. Um, now that I think about it. But even then, even then, I'd, I, if I can ask them to make it less syrupy. So they can just make it with less syrup. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Me at the coffee shop asking for less syrup. <laughs> Please. Okay, so it said even before you reach the inner furnace. So I'm guessing it might be close to this bit. Oh, wait, no, in fact, it's up there, surely. Which means I have to get across from up there. <coughs> that was bad. You're drinking Diet Coke and whiskey? Don't make me jealous, okay? Because Diet Coke and whiskey is so good. It's so good, and I'm... Oh, you're gonna make my head hurt with how much I want Diet Coke and whiskey. Why would you do this to me? Okay, I need to get over there. How would I do that? This seems not correct, for starters. Hmm. Pomegranate green tea. Pomegranate green tea sounds good. Because green tea's got that bitterness that means that when you add sweet stuff, it's nice. Rather than being so bitter that you don't even want uh, anything sweet in it. How would I call that over? Do I simply just... Nope, not that. That was... No, I... <laughs> okay, I was right. I also um, happened to be on the verge of death because of my own very silly mistakes, but that's okay. That's okay. I can always ask for lesser, they most likely will. I should, because... I don't know, I had a caramel, um, I had like a caramel iced latte the other day, and, well, okay, no, I had a caramel iced latte with soy milk, um, and I asked for caramel syrup, and they didn't put any in, and my friend had a caramel iced latte with normal milk, and I tried it, and I was like, hmm, I haven't had normal milk caramel in a while, and this thing tastes too sugary, like, syrupy to the point of pain, um, so I don't want that, turns out I'm not a fan of that. A silly moment. Oh! Oh, damn! I got my green! I didn't even realize that was green. That took a moment. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Let's go! That was so fast as well. That's the fastest I've ever achieved anything in this game, honestly. Um. There's one carriage in the distance. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. We got there. I didn't even... I didn't even have to look at your message, Trash. I simply figured it out. Um, and if you ignore all of the times that I accidentally fell off the edge, that was almost, almost good. Diet Coke and whiskey is really good. That's the thing, Diet Coke is actually just like a wonderful mixer for alcohol. So if I go out and want a drink, I have Diet Coke and rum. So because I'm trying to drink less Diet Coke, weirdly, I'm reserving Diet Coke drinking for like, with alcohol. <laughs> like, so, if I only drink Diet Coke when I drink alcohol, two things will happen, potentially. Um, one of the- one of the options is that, um, it just means that when I have alcohol and I have Diet Coke, it's all the yummier, and I have my one, and I'm like, mm, that was good, and it keeps me- keeps me consuming medium amounts of both. Um, 
the alternative is that I start to associate the serotonin of Diet Coke with alcohol and then can't achieve the effect of either without the other, which is less good. Normal milk is so sweet. Yeah, like actively the taste of a caramel syrup in an iced coffee with normal milk tasted so much more buttery um, than when I have it in a like almond milk or soy milk one. And it was really unexpected. Hi there. But I think everyone here is sick of what this world's become, a new world, new start, wonder if there'll be new TV shows. I think we've had that dialogue before. So, we're two off the pinks, and the... Oh, I'm really tempted to go to Jefferson and ask about the other two. I think I will. And then if the other two things that Jefferson gives me sound like they're nearby, I will do them. And if they do not sound nearby, I will leave them and simply not get my numbers. They won't go up. Also, thank you for adding all the quotes from uh, Saturday Trash. Thank you. Okay. Hi there, Jefferson. I'm here for a delicious meal. Right, so we know the first one is going to be about the elevator and the bridge, and I, I can't figure out where that is. My head cannot wrap itself around that one. Hidden path next to an elevation in the center of the cemetery. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a picture anyway, just in case. Pfft. Funnily enough, the first picture I have on my phone is a picture of a coffee shop board of iced drinks. Because uh, I was in a coffee shop and I couldn't read them, so I had to take a picture. Good times. Good times not taking my glasses with me to the gym. Okay. There's a cracked wall deep behind some dank dungeons with a secret behind. Perhaps applying a large force will open a path. We know about that. There was a hollowed out wall behind a keyhole shaped alcove just north of here in the castle lockstone. Perhaps something useful lies behind that wall. Okay, those ones are a little more complicated, actually. Just slightly. Just an eensy weensy little bit. Just a limb bit. Dark dungeons with a secret. Oh, sorry, even dank dungeons. And then castle lockstone. So, castle lockstone for those two. The other bridge on the bridge is the easiest one. Okay, if it's the easiest one, I will absolutely take some hints, because I feel like every time I've tried to do that one, I just get distracted and lost, and then just give up. Um, it's worth looking at, uh, looking for them all for the most part. Yeah, it would be nice to go into the final boss with, like, some extra skills behind me. And I think, I think I can get one more set of four crystals. So, I mean, if there's... Four more crystal shards, and then I think two more of the pink ones, at least. <laughs> your least favorite stream result, but your gym pro forced you to go to the gym. Gabby? Yeah, I can see how it's a difficult conundrum. Two actively unpleasant hobbies. Watching your least favorite streamer. Or going to the gym. Two, two very difficult, very uncomfortable things. Oh, mid -set. Four off full health and two off full magic. That's like so close. I've forgotten where Castle Lockstone is though. This way, this way. Or is this like the final boss? What's going on over here? Mushroom Dungeon, Throne of the Fog. Oh, although Mushroom Dungeon, the, the hint told me that dank dungeons, there's a cracked wall, but it also says deep in some d dank dungeons. So, does deep just mean that I should go north until I find something? I think it does, so I'm going to. Okay. I'm just gonna wander until I maybe find a cracked wall. And if I simply don't, well, you know, the, the joy of running around. The joy of running around is always is always enjoyable, if you know what I mean. Don't we all love running around? I know when I uh, scamper about, like a like a silly little being, like a silly little animal, having my first positive experience. I know I have a great time. Okay, what's going on under here? Oh, oh, there's a cracked wall right there. Okay, so that's underneath and behind. Where, like here? No, it would be like underneath. 
So if I went through and then left. That one is sneaky. Okay, I want to solve this one because this one's interesting. Oh, you sent the little guide above? Excellent. I will check in on that in a mo. Oh, okay. Hold on. First of all, there's you. You're definitely a thing. Oh, hello! Okay, we did that. We solved it. Gaming, gaming, gaming. This better not be a mini boss. <gasps> yeah! I don't even know if this was the correct one. Teehee hee. Hoo hoo Ha ha ha. Excellent. There we go. I think that was the one that it was talking about. Not absolutely confident because there was definitely a breakable roll, uh, wall in that other place. Definitely. Like, um, that's so breakable. But how would I get over this? Oh, that's, you know, that one's very sneaky. We may have to backtrack for that one or just ignore it. Oh, just do it from the other side. So it is just here. Okay, hold on. Uh, well, we need to go hit some mushrooms. Or some little characters. Oh, come on. Of course it's the... Okay, there we go. That's fine. Yeah, I wasn't sure if this side fully matched up. But it does. It absolutely does. Poggers. That was that was nice. That was clean. Mm. Okay. And then we just need to head out. Be on our way. And then go get the cemetery door one. So, go to the cemetery door. Ladder up on the left, go to the top, turn left, jump off the elevator, go behind the bit of building, and then the camera will change perspective. Okay, okay, that doesn't sound too bad. I struggle in this game with left and rights <laughs> because of the simple fact that with it being isometric, obviously, left, left is west, but also left is like southwest. So my brain can't, left on screen, okay, left on screen. There we go. Not for character. Yeah, I mean, that's the easy way to differentiate, isn't it? West is for character, left is for screen. Um, okay, cemetery, cemetery, cemetery is this one. Go to cemetery, ladder up on the left. So ladder left of the camera. Ladder on the left, go to the top and turn left and jump off the elevator, this one. Okay. This way. Jump off the elevator. Go behind the bit of building. And then perspective. So like here. This one's stupid. That's... Yeah, that is that one is frustratingly easy. That one is very frustrating. I can't believe that was just behind a bit of wall. That is sneaky. I mean, I'll take it, but geez. You found this immediately on your first run. I mean, congrats. To be fair, the game does have like um that little bit of path that could point you in this direction. But oh my goodness, my I am not looking for little bits of path. Oh, also. Hello? Another one. Amazing. We are popping off today, ladies. Ladies nuts. For the more cultured of you. Okay, so that's... The Castle Lockstone one is the only one left um, of the, the hints that Jefferson has just given. So I think that's worth doing. Because at this point, we're two off of both. That's so close. Um, now... If I can remember where Castle Lockstone is. You're looking into the scare maze, isn't they look fun? I've not looked into this years. I will, uh, probably later. Um, there's more hints as well. I love my hints. I love my hints. I love my hints. Yeah, I'm gonna look into them later because I imagine they have a lot of new ones nowadays. Um, 
well, you know what I mean, a lot of new ones nowadays. I imagine that the ones that they're doing this year are not ones that I've seen before. Two are new for us. See, that's, that's what I want to see. I'm curious about what the old classics are, though. Right, so we've done the Great Bridge one. Uh, cracked hole in the dungeons we've done, and now we're on Castle Lockstone. There is a hollowed out wall in a keyhole shaped alcove inside Castle Lockstone. So there's a keyhole shaped alcove. There's a hidden wall. Hmm. There's a hollowed out wall in a keyhole alcove. Okay. Is this an alcove? This one took you forever? I guess, depending on your definition of the word alcove, this one could be kind of complicated. Hollowed out wall in a keyhole shaped alcove. So I'm looking for one of those keyhole alcoves, except uh, the word alcove suddenly has no meaning. I've been through here, I know I have. Oh, that is not the one I wanted. Wanted that. There we go. And then it could be one of these. This would check out. One of these could be hollowed out. Because we're looking for something that's hollowed out at, a, at about, like, little crow level. Is that one hollowed out? That one could be hollowed out. How would I get up there? If I can't get up there, it's probably not hollowed out. Uh, a general area hint would probably be appreciated. Because there's lots of, um... There's lots of keyhole-shaped things in Castle Lockstone. You know, the castle whose entire theming is, is like, keys and stuff. Yeah! From center and go through the door in the top left of the screen. Okay top left. So, like, here. Oh, or from this center room. So... This one? Or that one? I think this one. And I'll have a little look, and if I'm wrong, we can always double back. And then we're just looking for a hollowed out wall. Hmm. I don't think it's in here. So I've gone wrong somewhere. First one I said. Behind here? No. Hmm. Alright, let's try this way. Keyhole shaped hollowed out wall. Correct, okay, okay. Let's keep a lookout. Let's keep our eyes peeled. I can be so observant. They say, Mello, you're so good at seeing. They really do. So it's not this way. Hollowed out keyhole wall. Not this way. Let's have another little look around. Hmm. Oh, this game and its silly little puzzles. They're so trying. This I'm trying so hard. Okay. So definitely not in here. Ah. Uh, on the empty pot. How? No. Is there a similar shape room somewhere? Let's look at the clue again, shall we? 
A hollowed out wall in a keyhole shaped alcove just north. Okay, that might be the route to the empty pot. There's one in the empty pot. Do I have to plant the seed maybe? I mean, either way I've done it now, not the end of the world. Um, okay. Oh, just that route, that route, okay, okay. In that case, let's wander around this area a bit more. We're looking for a keyhole alcove and a hollowed out wall. Hmm. Up top on the left. Okay, I'll head back. Let's go explore. Up top. So that means ladders, ladders my beloved. I, I cannot remember the last time I climbed a ladder that looks like this. It must have been, it must have been eons ago. Oh, okay, it could be in here. This has got vibes. Around here? No. This room just has vibes though. Like absolutely has the vibes. In fact, did I see it? No, that's the, uh, that's just the shine of the thing to read. Wait, is it that? Is it that? Is it that? <gasps> oh! It is! It is! This one's so sneaky! That is unbelievably sneaky! I cannot believe that. This is like a whole new little area. Sneakiest, I hated it. Yeah, I would not have found that without help. Because I was not, I was looking for something that was on like ground level and crow height. And that was absolutely not that. That was, um, hmm. Remember to look great, but you didn't notice the alcove. That's. Yeah, I forgot the locked grate. With areas like these, I'm aware that if I um, come back to them, there's probably like little unlocked areas, but my goodness, that one was sneaky. That one was designed specifically to trick us. To trick us into believing our task was done and our task is never done in this game. There is always more death to door. Okay. In that case, we just have to head back to the uh, door and then go check in with Jefferson again. We're kind of sailing through these. I've only been live like half an hour. Good luck. Are the next ones difficult? You remember that you'll have to do the ice timing puzzle to get the max health and magic? Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Really? I don't want to do that. I don't want to do it. We've had like three meals from Jefferson in the past half an hour. We, we're a hungry little uh, corvid. A hungry little feathered friend. A feathered fiend, in fact. Okay. The overgrown ruins used to be a huge castle. Okay, okay. I love your little hints and tricks, buddy. I love taking pictures of them. Still some old roots up to the top walls. You just need to cross the moat okay west of the crow's camp's vast canyon that's the snow one treacherous path with the hidden treasure i hear it's very slippery a secret could be found at the very place you enter these forgotten lands have you ever returned there with new abilities you've gained entrance to what forgotten lands a secret could be found at the very place you entered these forgotten lands like, the very beginning? So, like, the first- the first door? That one? We haven't been back there with the- with the new skills, so, like, maybe. Let's go. The first door you went through? Okay, okay, let's go, let's go. Gaming. Um... I can't fully really remember what that was. That wasn't the Lost Cemetery, was it? It was the... It was the grassy one, and I know it was up here. It's where we fought the, uh, the thing. Was it Grove of Spirits? I feel like it was Grove of Spirits. Yeah, it was. 
Right, let's go have a look around, shall we? Did there used to be enemies here? Is it like excessively quiet or is that just... Just me. I don't know, I'm just feeling very suspicious right now. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to hit you, buddy. Wasn't aiming at you. It was just like this, huh? That is ominous. Ominous indeed. Hmm. Look for hookshot points. Yeah, let's have a look out. Not that. Um, hmm. I mean, technically. Oh, okay, I see. I see. I see how it is. I got a limb tree. Makeshift shop soul key. So I got a shiny. This appears to be a very rudimentary version of the door tech used by reapers. It could have been used to open a rift between two locations but the passage would have been unstable and not up to commission standards. Not that it matters, as large swathes of the workings have melted and the machine no longer functions. Uh, yeah, and now it's just my shiny brushes just for me. Is this not an upgrade? Uh, I don't think it is. To be fair, we have, what is that, three upgrades left. Hmm, I don't know, maybe, maybe there is something else here. Let's triple check. I think that's it for this area. Let's keep a quick eye out for if there's any others. But I think that is all. Okay. Okay, I think that's all. So it's not an upgrade, but it's a special little, special little treat. Um, west of the Crow Camp, that's the Ice Swan. And then all the routes up to the top walls, you just need a way to cross the moat. And that's the overgrown ruins. I, huh, wait, there's another thing there. Okay. Let's check this area out. Hmm. This is an interesting zone. Just because so much of it feels like it's just not for me to explore, you know? Saying that, it feels like I should be able to get up there. Oh, left of the screen after the rift door. Okay, okay. Screen after the rift door. I am... Um... I'm missing something, aren't I? Big glowy door. Like, to just go through it? Oh, after the rift door. Like, to go through and then... Okay. Okay. Ah! <laughs> I, I see. I see. I did, unfortunately, very briefly drown. Okay. It always feels bad to see the, the more uh, bright thinks Morbius wasn't very Morbius when Bright isn't here. Feels like we're being mean to them. Hell yeah. And that's a green one for me. They call me the green one for how much I obtain shards from vitality crystals. How do I remember this so well? It's directions brain. Your brain for directions, just when it comes to games, particularly games with like maybe slightly confusing or irregular pathways, you just get it. Oh, hello? What is this door? That is a interesting place. Oh, we've been down this way before, definitely. Okay. Okay. Killing is so easy now that we have all the upgrades. Like, goodness gracious me. 
That's post-game stuff. Yeah, I am... Um, so I realized that uh, it was likely that... Well, not that I wouldn't try post-game, but just that um, I would probably ask... I, I know what the post-game boss is, is what I'm trying to say. Um, because I was talking to Party about this game. Um, and mentioned that I don't mind being told what it is. <laughs> and then I got told what the post-game boss is. I suppose with your Hollow Knight memory. Exactly, exactly. You have the brain for the maps. Right, so that was... That was that. Now we just need to go to the Overgrown Ruins? The guy in this area. Surprisingly easy boss, really? Hmm. That's unexpected. I would have thought that, like, post-game stuff would just be, I don't know, unnecessarily hard, if anything. You know, I'm not against an easy boss, like a fun little theming boss. A boss that's just for funsies, for shits and giggles. Right. Oh, okay. Overgrown Ruins is Frog Guy. Okay. And this is the area with the Crow Camp, aka uh, nightmarish, disgusting, stupid, timing, slippy puzzle. My beloved. Mushroom dungeon, throne, overgrown ruins, okay. Overgrown ruins used to be like a huge castle. You just need to wait to cross the moat. Okay, so I've got to, first of all, find the moat. I cannot remember where the moat is. So I guess that's step one. Ah, although if I, I've come back here with my bombs, I hadn't... I didn't realize I hadn't been back here with bombs. Look, there are so many things to bomb. Everything's so bombable now. Oh, hello. Oh, the music as well just had a very Hollow Knight little riff to it. God, I can't wait for Silk Song. I, I think it would be fun this year to dress up as Hornet for Halloween. As for how I will achieve that, can't honestly tell you. But I still think it would be fun if I could find a way. Okay. Let's go down here. Ooh. Oh, damn it. I don't want to be in the mushroom dungeon. No! 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 Get me out of here! I need to leave, I need to leave, I need to leave. Take me out of the mushroom dungeon. I would like to go. Oh, there's a no mask rule, so you don't know how doable Hornet would be. Yeah, without a mask, it, I'm just wearing a red cloak. Um, ooh, okay. So I don't, I don't think Hornet would be doable for a scare maze, which is unfortunate. But, you know, these things happen. Um, you know, there's other Halloween things I could do. So if I did do it, I would take a picture and share. Because it would be very fun. Okay, is this too far away? That is too far away. However, if I can get around the other side... Hmm. No, there's a ladder there. I see how I do this. I think it's just for a secret, not actually a an upgrade, but still. But yeah, the hornet thing would have to be like, I'd have to find a way to make a hornet mask and also a hornet nail, and then just obtain like red cloak and wear black tights. <laughs> so it'd be fun. Where the heck is this moat? I don't remember there being a body of water at all. Um, which says something from my memory, if anything. Motor South. Okay, okay, Motor South. Note to self. Motor South. Um, yeah, a no mask rule makes sense. That's very reasonable on behalf of the Scare Maze Company. Ah, a moat. Oh, okay. Oh, 
okay, okay, okay. I need to go at this from a different angle. I see, I see, I see. I cope, I see, I see. This one's like a whole ass puzzle, huh? Um. Oh, okay, so it's more of this stuff. Delightful. Okay. Oh my god. This was unexpected. Oh my godness. Why is there so many of them? Why is there so many? Why is this just these guys? Okay, not just these guys, huh? Okay, other things, other things as well. Ah, okay. That was bad to lose health to. Okay. Ah, okay. Okay, okay. You hate this gauntlet? I had no idea a gauntlet was coming. So, one could say, I feel a little alarmed right now. Okay, okay. Oh, okay, that was fine. No, don't tell me there's more. Oh, there's more. There's more. Shoot. Shoot. I'm bad at dealing with these things when I have full health. Let alone specifically right now. Okay, that was bad. That was bad. Hmm. Lock chest is also post game. Ah, okay, okay. So for now, this is just what I can do. At least it's not too far away from the door. Um, but it is a shame to have to do the, like, I don't know, not puzzle bit, but like this, beforehand. Okay, but now I know that I do actually need to conserve my resources a bit more. Because the next bit is scary. And ideally, if I can run around and have those guys die, that'd be good. Okay. Okay. Ah, okay. I'm trying to set up a bomb. But I did damage to myself. That was not worth it. Felt like it might be worth it, and then it immediately was not. Ah, ah. Okay, very scary. Okay, this zone makes a person nervous. How's the door doing? The door's not doing so good. There's an upgrade that makes bombs not do damage? That would be good. Um, that would be ideal, in fact. Damn. Ah! Oh my goodness! This guy, this guy is gonna absolutely destroy me. Um, this better be the last one in the gauntlet, though. If you want me to ever feel joy again. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Oh, come on. I simply cannot dodge enough. I hope you're doing better than the door then. I'm doing better than the door. Um, I am tired today because I've been awake just a lot of hours, but, you know, aside from the tiredness that I constantly feel, that plagues my every waking moment anyway, um, I feel good. How are you doing, Kiri? How's university going? 
I personally would like the year to be done already. So, not in a, ju just in a, I can't be bothered to read papers and write essays. I simply cannot be bothered. Okay. Okay, everything's fine. Okay, I actually successfully hit like most of them with that. So if I can avoid hits to this person, this little thing, imagine not having the structure. You're right. That is terrifying. I do need the structure to survive. Okay. Ah! Ah! This is like an avarice, except worse! Did that hit me? Oh my goodness. I really need to not... Ah! Okay. Oh my god, please, please. Okay, everything's fine. We're all gonna be safe. We're all gonna have a nice time. Okay. Ah! Okay, that was fine. This is like an avarice in this game. This was hell, but it's over now. And we never have to do it again. Why would there be an enemy right there? Why would this game do this to me? Not even for a full thing, just for that. You signed up to the theatre club? You're gonna have a good time. Sometimes peer pressure gets us into good hobbies. And clubs at university are amazing. Like, most of my good experiences of university have come from clubs. <sighs> okay, actually, we get a lot out of that. We got a lot of little things from that one. That was worth it. Uh, turns out you have to read books in uni, who would have guessed? Yeah, that surprised me as well. Um, it gets better, um, but it also does get worse. Like, I have to read papers now, and academic papers are absolutely exhausting. They are so boring. They are so tiring. There is nothing good about them. Not a single thing. Right, okay, we should, we should try and head back. Uh, get to the door. Mm-hmm. That was so tense. That felt really tense. Wait, hold on. Is there like a little thing around here? Hmm, okay. This game has me very well trained to search for secrets at this point. Um. There's the door. I knew it. Ah! Working Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Monday this week? See... Losing the structure of uni, but gaining the structure of, like, pretty much a full-time job. Uh, I mean, there's still structure in your life, Trash. It's just the structure is now, like, shit tons of work. Um, like, actual paid work. Good. Work, work, bad. I'm presuming it's the, the same job that you've worked at for the past few years. Um, you're gonna be sleepy. You are gonna be sleepy. Sleepy, and then you'll probably adjust. You never had to read books, only papers. I've technically had to read textbooks. Um, but yeah, doing a STEM subject, that's sort of where it ends. I went from textbooks to like review articles to now just like primary papers. And I have gotten better at it. Like I read primary papers now and I know what to do and I know what to skim read and I know what to Google, but it's still just really rough. Like sitting down to read like a six page primary paper, knowing you're gonna have to look up their 
bullshit results and their silly little, um, you know, techniques. Exhausting. Yes, they could. You tell me my secrets. Okay. Okay. Please tell me it's not just the crow camp one. That can't be all. That can't be all. I can't believe that's all. I can't believe it's just the crow camp. Oh, we've completely done magic shards. Okay, so crow camp to get the last of the green ones. Uh, I don't think I need it. I think I'm fine. I think we can just do the final boss without it, actually. I wish they didn't make us buy the books and print their silly little stupid papers. I have a phone and PC, why do I need the physical version? Yeah, yeah. If you have like a course that requires any sort of books, I'm sorry, because having to buy them is stupid. Like the benefits of STEM subjects or particularly biochemistry or biosciences is that if you aren't really required to use textbooks, yeah, in my first year, I maybe would have had to buy textbooks, but my uni has a pretty good system for sharing stuff online, so we were okay. But past first year, all I needed was, um, yeah, literally all I needed was the ability to get papers. And because my university has subscriptions to all the paper services, like Nature and stuff, um, I just have to find the papers on a university computer and then it's okay, you know? Um... So, actually, it's not that, it's not much of a challenge, luckily. Luckily, it works out okay. Is the boss up here? Yeah, that's the boss, if I ever seen one. So, I've not had to spend a lot of money on my degree, actually. I also got a lab coat and goggles for free. I think I would have had to pay for those, except I, they, we were given them during COVID year. Um, and I was just, like, everyone had to arrange a collection to just go pick them up. But no one's asked me about them. So I just have a- I have goggles and a lab coat that are just mine, I think. And they might ask for them back at the end of the course, but I don't think they will. Like, it's health, but I don't need max health. It's fine. I've got like five- five little bits out of- out of like six. And that's okay. Uh, you always just use the online library because it was actually super good and comprehensive as a database. Yeah, same. STEM subjects, I feel like it's easier to get a comprehensive online library when like journals exist the way they do and you can just get like subscriptions as a university. But I am glad that I didn't have to buy physical versions because it, the fact that you already have to pay for university and then there's all those little add-ons. Um, just how your shifts have ended up because you're covering for some people. It's a full, that's a full working week. I do not envy that week. You're gonna be sleepy. Self your lab coat and dissection kit and goggles. <laughs> the dissection kit, you really would think they'd ask for it back. Mm -hmm. I'm a little concerned on that one, but I mean, I guess you've got it. I don't see why you'd need to do a dissection anytime soon, but if you if you did, I, I guess, I guess you got the kit. Uh, we're a bit behind on the dematerialize it, probably how I say it in English. Uh, yeah, basically like, um, yeah, yeah. Like the digitalization, I think would be the closest. So like, yeah, my, um, even my school was pretty far ahead. Like my, my secondary school in sixth form. So like schooling from the ages of like 14 to 18, um, my school really encouraged the use of iPads and like, I suppose probably laptops. If I'd have brought in a laptop and said, sorry, I don't want an iPad, would they have killed me? Probably not. They'd have just looked at me disapprovingly. Um, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, my, my school, like, helped fund basically people having iPads. But the iPads were, like, on the school system, so they had restrictions. Like, people couldn't get YouTube on them. Um, except I, coincidentally, had been given as a birthday present, like, the year before, an iPad of my own. And I was like, this is wonderful. And I didn't see the point in owning two iPads. Frankly, one is excessive enough. So I just refused to get an iPad through the school. Um... Which meant that I had no restrictions, but also, like, it just meant that one time I think I was sent a letter that was like, you're using an iPad, you're not paying for it. And I was like, buddy, this is mine. <laughs> this is my present. Um, 
Like, they, they checked on me once or twice. They were like, how come you're not paying for your iPad? You, you really need to do that. And I was like, this is mine. I can't stress that enough. Your scalpels and needles. Oh god, I wish they'd given me scalpels and needles as part of my lab kit. It's just the goggles and the coat. Having iPads was fun. It was fun. Hello, party. You're walking back home from society call. I think she left her VIP pass for society's night at home, goddammit. I swear there's multiple times, party, that you've left behind, like, a pass or an ID for some sort of event and you've had to walk home. At least you live nearby. Got the apps before they blocked them on the school system. Genius. Genius. And then you simply have them and it's never even a problem. Uh, in your education class you were sick and the professor just went, are you okay? And then you were like, I'm a little sick. And then the fucker said, yeah, you look terrible. Damn, that's harsh. That's so harsh, Curie. <laughs> I've always thought that like, you know, you know, sometimes, sometimes a person does look a little, little, a little peaky, a little pale, but you know, when someone looks tired and someone will say like, you look tired, it's like, I know, I am tired, but goddamn, it, it, it hurts for you to say it. Have you fought a lot of doors yet? Uh, no, I was about to give it a try, but I was debating just leaving it here for a moment and going to the bathroom, but I have gotten some power ups, so I have a lot of shiny things. Um, I have full magic crystal shards, and I'm one of vitality, but I can't be bothered to do the last one, so I'm gonna ignore it. If you sent an iMessage to all the people you'd, uh, message before going to school, the iMessage, those people would work for the whole day. Really? So you just basically had to send, like, a streaks message on iMessage, and then it just worked? See, you people, you, you people with the, uh, the, uh, locked down iPads, you found workarounds that I didn't even know how to exist. The only downside, obviously, was that my iPad was like a year older or something, so it was like slightly clunkier. And I have it still in a drawer, and I can access on it like notes that I wrote on that iPad, like school notes and stuff, but I can't download new apps, like it is simply too old. So I can occasionally like access it and look at pictures on there and stuff, but so it's a nice little nostalgia thing, but I can't, I can't use it. like. Actually, the iPad is fine. It's a little slow, but not in a way that is uncomfortable. But I fully can't use it because Apple are like, no, you can't just get a version of an app that is several years old. You're, you have to get a new version of an app. But if you can't get the new iOS, you can't get the new app. Like, stupid Apple. Who's messing around, but I'm sensitive. Oh, I'm sorry, Curie. I'm hoping that uh, if he was messing around, uh, I'm hoping that he, he added in an I'm kidding, you look fine afterwards to ease ease your feeling. Um, although it's nice actually that they noticed that, like, they asked if you were okay. Because sometimes I feel like I've looked miserable in lectures. Like, I've been sat there looking like on the verge of crying. And it's just ignored. Everyone just ignores it. More equipped than you were when, I, uh, when you did it, so I'm sure I'd be fine. Probably. I'll probably be okay. I'll give it a go. I want to give it a moment though, because I'm aware there's probably going to be some dialogue. Like, I don't think I'm just going to open the door and it's going to be like, oh, okay, let's fight now. Um, just using Pinterest. Yeah, those were the Pinterest days. Pinterest constantly just fan fictions on my iPad. That was a good time. Mm. See, now if I just bring like a laptop to, to class, nobody bats an eye. And I still nostalgia critic. A nostalgia critic? What are we critiquing? Okay, okay, let's give it a go now. Let's give it a go now. Just in case. Gave yours back? That is a shame, trash. Ooh, okay, this is dramatic. Oh, that is a shame. I mean, if you'd have kept it though, it would have had your English coursework on, which would have been great. But it also would have become obsolete within like two years, and then you'd have paid to have a thing that's just out of date. Hello, who are you? Hello, office workers. Hi there, Lord of Doors. Hi. Yeah, the fact that Pinterest, some things weren't blocked that really should have been. I never really thought it would come to this, yet here we are. Each of my kind are created by the Lord preceding them and trained to take over their duties before they pass on. On the day we are created, we are told the day on which we will die. My predecessor, my creator, was a cold-hearted tyrant. Obsessed with rules and order of how things had to be. The old fool never even gave me a name. Could you believe that? 
Aw. Aw. How would your life play out if you knew the exact day you were going to die? Okay, this is a bit bleak. If every moment of your existence revolved around its ending, they he because I say so, you're right. No, you're right. I had to do everything in my power to save myself. I know my actions are not entirely moral, but perhaps not even justifiable. But I cannot just let myself die. I refuse to go without a fight. So, young crow, are you ready to fight for your life as I am for mine? I mean, I guess. Okay, are you just gonna do that? I mean... Is this it? This is the last boss, technically, but also not really. Because there's a... Oh! Oh! Okay! This isn't it! This isn't it! Oh my god! What is happening? I don't trust that. See now... List of things I don't trust? This. Okay, I guess I have to. Ah! Ah! Okay. But I'm guessing I have to go this way. Oh! Okay! <laughs> okay, I guess I'll just... Ah! <laughs> I love a challenge, boss! Oh, I hate a challenge! Challenges are scary! I hate new things, I hate new things. New things killed my family. What is going on? Okay, this is so cool, but do I have to make this progress every time? Okay, okay. You love this boss so much. Why are we going to the old areas? Ah! Okay. Ah! Ow! That's the first time he's actually hit me. I actually was beginning to think he fully couldn't. Okay, I'm on one health. This is terrifying. Where are you? Why are you bastard? At least those things can only go in straight lines. That makes me feel better. Okay, ah! oh my god! Damn, you miss one of those, you miss it all, huh? That was going so well. Okay. Okay, I'll catch up with Twitch chat while I leave this loading screen just open. Um, you thought your gator was broken, turns out it's in stealth mode. Literally all the friends you made last week except one person turned out to be queer. And you never would have guessed. Listen, LGBTQ plus people just find a way. They find a way. They find a way to each other. I, I don't know how it happens either, it just- it happens. I found myself in like two clubs at university just full of LGBTQ plus people and I'm like, Oh my goodness, how did this happen? Dude hit they then. Um Because they he has doors, but like what else are they gonna do with the doors? But go back to old areas. True. You're right about that. They're not very strong, but they do have doors. They don't hit very hard, but they do have doors. Just walk past uh redacted Monday queue, not too bad right now, but have one with the horde. Oh, it doesn't get bad till half past ten party, you know that. You know it doesn't get bad till half past ten. Because basically the pub opposite me has this deal that means that it's free entry on a Monday until I think either half 10 or 11. But obviously in the UK, people don't like going out to a bar slash club until late. People like doing pre-drinks like at their own house or cheap pubs and then they go out to the club. 
Which means that no one wants to show up really at ten past nine just because it's free entry. Everyone wants to show up at half past ten or later. So everyone just like shows up at half ten every week and there's always an insane queue. And yet every single week they do it. It's like at no point has it occurred to any of them that because everyone always goes at half ten, there's always a really big queue. And that they should just go slightly earlier. It blows my mind. Our entire six one friend group. Exactly. Exactly. I like it, um I like actually finding out about um sneaky LGBTQ plus people that I didn't really know very well in sixth form and I've since found out are some sort of LGBTQ plus. Like there is this one specific person who was in my maths class in sixth form and also in my chemistry class, I think, um, who was like really good at chemistry and generally was paired with me for chemistry stuff because I was supposed to be good at it. I never was. I just basically let this person do all of the hard work for me. And I followed them on like Twitter a while back. And just increasingly I was like, hold on, hold on, these tweets are fruity. These are some fruity tweets. Um, and it was just a nice thing to see because it's like, damn, I, I don't know if they weren't sure in sixth form or if it's just not information that they like publicized widely, but I can send you, I can tell you who trash. I can tell you who, I can tell you exactly who. I'll DM you right now. Um, gay people are drawn to one another like Stan uses. Exactly, exactly. The world is just one big JoJo's Bizarre Adventure reference. And Stan users are just uh, uh, LGBTQ plus people finding, finding each other, like little magnets. Um, name starting with a vowel. Yes. First name beginning with a vowel. Last name beginning with a consonant. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I want to know if there's more, you know? Like, I, I will never know all of the, like, queer people that were in my, like, sixth form cohort. But I- there has to have been more. There were a lot of us bastards. And I refuse to believe that it was just, like, my friend group and then a couple other people. No. Barely spoken person, but they interact with the chaos of my Twitter. Exactly. They're lovely. It's great. Okay. I need to go to the bathroom, and then I will be back to try Lord of Doors again. That was very fun. I want to give that another try. Um, I will leave you with the door screen, um, and I will be back in a minute.
Okay, you know how I said that the queue isn't too bad until like half ten on a Monday? Because university students don't like going to bars until late, until they've done pre-drinks. The queue is already like pretty big. Not a horde of people big. More like normal bar queue big. But like, I don't know what it was about the specific group of uh, like people that just walked in. But they were all dressed up very much in like modern UK urban outfitters club outfit. And it, something about the outfit hit me with the logic that if this year's new cohort of university students, if this year's freshers, decide that this is the hottest spot in town, then it's all over for me. I don't get to be in control of that, you know? If the horde just grows every week and there's more people just treating it as a cheap local club, I will scream. There is no escape. Also, hello, Aria. Mm, mellow LGBTQ plus community. Um, in Turkey, queerness is still pretty taboo, although not as much amongst youngsters. But like, you won't expect to when you meet to be fruity. It's kind of relieved. You thought you'd have to heterify yourself again. I'm glad that you didn't have to, Kiri. Because like, the thing is, it's not as if <laughs> it's not as if in in countries where uh, queerness is taboo, there are less queer people. It's just that queer people are less free to express themselves, and therefore some people don't realize, or some people you know internalize hate. But you know, there's still many of us curie everywhere. But it's nice that like I don't know, amongst young people, it's easier to find each other, or at the very least, it's comfortable to be yourself with one another. Um, they all watch you stream and took your advice? No! 100% precious. They easily are. I think if I went to the club, I would wear trainers nowadays. To be fair, it's like I've never worn heels. I've always worn boots. <laughs> like, I've worn messy boots. I've worn shoes that if they just get spat on and trod on, it would be okay. I would do that. You're assuming most people are walking the opposite way, going there. Oh, yeah, probably. If people are dressed up, even slightly dressy, they're going to the bar opposite my house. I'm drinking pomegranate juice, it's very sour. You better be doing that in your own home. You better be doing that in your own home and not here. Not where I am. Not across the road. Pomegranate juice is sour? Is it sour? Is that- is pomegranate juice supposed to be sour? Oh wait! Hold on. It has checkpoints? That's fun. I had no idea it had checkpoints. This is delightful. Okay, okay. As long as it has checkpoints, everything's okay. This is fine. Another quick attempt? I can do another quick attempt. Okay, this isn't too bad. Although I am scared of my progress. He <laughs> loves little finger guns. Me when they finger guns. Ah! I oh, fuck! I'm sorry, I held the wrong buttons. No! No! This is terrible. This is so embarrassing. I'm so embarrassed. Down to two health and for what? Just a silly limb mistake? Oh damn, I don't- oh, oh that's how I avoid that one. Simply by being smarter. Oh, well. That's fine. That's fine. So this is one checkpoint and then there's one quite a bit later. So it's actually quite a big boss battle. And they do have checkpoints. At like reasonable times, I'm guessing. Right, let's go! Let's go, gamers! Gamers, let's go! Don't say death. I didn't die. You died. I didn't die. I've never died in this game. Ow! No! <laughs> Come on! Oh, that was... That was a bad one. That was not my best work. 
Yeah, this is a good final boss. I just need to get better at it. Right now, I'm cringe. Cringe not based. Right, if this time I don't fall down... Aren't pomegranates a bit sour? Yeah, I'm sure they are. Ow. That actually hit me. I'm upset. I'm upset. The other checkpoint is the start of his second phase. This isn't... So this is- this is a long boss, huh? I see how it is. I see how it is. The game really just wants me to use all of my resources, huh? And you know, maybe I will. Maybe I will use all of my resources. Okay. Ah! Oh! Oh, that is interesting. Oh, that is so interesting. Okay. Have fun, party. That is such an interesting shape. Ow. Get used to those attacks. Those are fun. Those are very fun-shaped. Friend-shaped attacks, honestly. Okay, this is like- Ah! <laughs> this is like hit TV show Hole in the Wall that used to air in the UK. We love Hole in the Wall. <laughs> Truly. <laughs> Not even kidding, this is literally just Hole in the Wall. What is that? No! No! I'm sorry, that's just like the... That one's upsetting. That one's very upsetting. I hate that attack. Uh, you need to wake up early tomorrow and it's already pretty late here, so you'll see yourself out. I have to be the grab out of Door Lord and then the door itself, which I'm presuming is the real boss. Yeah, yeah, of course. Death's Door wouldn't have anything other than the door as the final boss. But yeah, thank you for hanging out, Curie. Have a good day tomorrow, even if you have to wake up early, which is obviously a crime. A crime against humanity. The patterns are good. Oh, I was really hoping that was the, uh, the next boss. That's okay. We're gonna get so good at this by the end. You've got no... You've got no idea how good we're gonna get. Yeah, I did just fall off, and that's okay, actually. That's okay. No! Come on! This one's really rough. You cannot afford a uh, silly mistake at all, huh? Okay. They rolly. I don't like it when they rolly. One bad gloop and she do what they rolly. Okay, everything's okay. Okay, everything's fine. You're just glad to look at your little guy for longer. I do like this little guy. And you know what? I actually think this villain has some based logic. If I was in the Lord of Doors' position, I too would be fighting for my life. What's this little guy supposed to do? Just roll over and die? No, that seems very unfair. If I wouldn't do it, why should he? The music is good as well, considering that it's like music from the game. Oh, whoops. So many of these don't hit that I just keep assuming that none of them will. Whoops. I'm with you to the kitchen. That was March. That was the lemon curd stream. Don't worry about it. This is such an interesting- Ah! Checkpoint. Huh. 
I can roll through them. I can roll through them. That's fun to learn. I guess I'll never attack one of them with my bare hands again and I will simply roll. Huh. That's quite defensive. It's like I really don't have a kitchen. Listen, when I said that, you had a kitchen. It was a different time back in March. Trashes had kitchen. Okay. Okay. I like how reality warps when that happens. Stop. It would be really nice to get further this time. Because I feel like I, I'm not making massive progress. Like I'm pretty much getting to the same point every time. But that's okay. We'll get there. We've still got like the rest of the stream to figure it out. That's like probably half an hour considering that I'm sleepy today. It would be nice to beat it today, but if it's a long boss, we will have to see. Okay. 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 Ow. Okay. Ow, okay, I was doing a really good job at avoiding those. I just assumed that I would always be able to. Okay. How many phases are there out of curiosity? I promise you can tell me. It's okay to tell me. In fact, you should tell me. I love Hole in the Wall. Love classic TV show, <laughs> Hole in the Wall. Okay. I was doing good. I can't pause when it comes to those. And I also can't dodge the way I'd like to. Okay. Just the two main ones, but this is all phase one. Okay, okay. Ah! I forgot that that would happen. Okay. 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 Ow! <laughs> I was doing okay. And considering that was the last area, I, I'm imagining that that was phase one. Like that, that is probably the ending of phase one. So close. Gosh damn, it is fun though. And the little finger guns are very enjoyable. They are delightful. Okay, let's do... Oh, come on. God, these are so rough because if you, if you fail and then fall, you've like lost two health points, like pretty much guaranteed. Okay. The finger guns. The finger guns are friendly. This Lord of Doors is friend-shaped, somehow. Despite being my, um, my mortal enemy. Okay. Okay. Ah! On the plus side, that attack is very fun. Okay. Because uh, I just have to hit a couple times, then dodge. That one's reasonably intuitive to wrap your head around. Okay. And the doors have shadows. So you can see where they're going to be coming from before they even show up, which is nice. <sighs> Isometric angles. I say vibes is Heisenberg. Evil but friend-shaped. Yeah, that's, that, that really sums it up. Evil, but in a way where I trust them. Ow. Yeah. I think 
Because the first time those showed up, I was pretty good at dodging them just naturally. I think I got cocky. I think I got very cocky. Those things were really fun and now they're scary. <sighs> this is a lot. This is such a boss fight. I ain't never seen a boss fight more boss fight than this one right here. The runny bits are so cute though. The way that this, this bit is literally just like run and fight. Okay. Okay. Okay, everything is fine. Evil, but I will hug them. Very huggable, true. They just look very squishy. I don't know what it is. Okay. Hit a couple times, then dodge. Hit a couple times, dodge. Hit a couple times, dodge. Hit a couple times, dodge. Hit many times. Trevor Belmont is pathetic man of the day. I need to watch more of Castlevania. Every time I think of Castlevania, I think about how I need to watch more of it. But I also need to play Yakuza 0. I've created a small list of goals to do by like December. And a lot of them are just like media things. Like I want to finish Yakuza 0. Um, that's, that's a really big one, honestly. I also want to do like three special streams that aren't just playing a game, but are doing something different. And my logic is if I put them down as goals, then I have to do them. Because there's no escape. Ow. Ah. Ah, okay. I got so cocky with those the first time. I just naturally dodged them. And then now I'm a cocky little shit. Okay, let's go. Let's go. So many media things, so many media things. There's lots of things that I actually started and then just never got around to finishing, I suppose. Whether that be games or TV or what. Um, and I'd, I don't know, it'd be nice to finish by December. December's really arbitrary, to be honest, but it just, it's, it would be a nice time to have finished some stuff. Okay, and the first thing I get is the roll. Ow! Fucking roll! Okay, 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 everything's fine. We're all gonna be safe! We're all gonna have a good time. Okay, it's like a little motorbike. My they them motorbike. On my they them road. My they him bike. Okay, please say this is phase two. Literally begging you. Literally begging you. Ah! Should have seen those coming. In fact, did see those coming. Okay, we're all gonna be safe, we're all gonna have a good time, please be phase two. This looks like phase two, this is like the beginning of the game. This is, this is the beginning of the game. Oh no, oh no, oh no, what did the Lord of Doors do, what's happening? What's happening? What happened to the office? What, what happened to my friends? Did you see that no confidence letters already be sent to Liz Truss? I can't. <laughs> oh, that is funny. I mean, it's true. It's true. I am not confident. But, like, I could have said that from the very beginning. Frankly, I could have said that the second uh, that the Conservatives were in power. That was enough for me to not have any confidence. Actually, me voting for Labour and not the Conservatives was my vote of no confidence. But, um, I'm only one person, and I'm always ignored. 
Oh, you can get hits for walking over? I should have done that. Why are we here, crow? Why do I exist? Just to suffer? To follow in the footsteps of the lords before me? To repeat the same things over and over? To what end? What is the point? If we all have to die eventually. Oh, buddy. Because of the sparkle of being alive! I suppose I will never know. Because I will never die. Me, R-N. Me for real, for real. Yeah, true. No, I mean, I would. I would. I would. Music is going... Music is good right now. The Last Lord. Ah! Okay. You are an angrier being now than previously. Whoa. Oh, these things! I know how to deal with that. Please don't turn rolly. Oh my god! Feral things right now. Nope. The rolly is so stinky. I also do not enjoy that every single power is activating right now. Okay, okay. Isometric viewpoint, very enjoyable. Ah, fucking Rolly! You'd think at this point I would know how to deal with it. Ah! No! Roll away! Roll away from me! Wait. That's the degree of bronk? This little, little friend is not very broken right now at all. Okay. Nope! Whew. Okay, that was narrow, that was narrow. They're so scrungly. I'm not feeling very scrungled right now, personally. <gasps> no! Okay, this is fine. I wasn't doing bad there though. My hand, my hand hurts though. My hand hurts a lot. Like, I miss my wife tails. I miss her a lot. Seriously, I'm getting like, I'm getting like pains. I'm getting pains between my knuckles. Oh, ouch, this hurts. Okay, but at least I know how their moves work. It's simple, simple dimple. Oh. I was gonna try and get moves in, but um, I see I cannot do that anymore. Oh, come on! Okay, I need to pay more attention to when he rolls. <laughs> they them rolls. They him rolls. Oh. Not my best. One of my worst tries, to be completely honest. I had that first try excellence followed by that second try um, abhorrence. Hello, Uppa, hello. Listen, you witnessed my first try, which we can all- we can all say was good, right? That was a good one. Um... Second try, a little less good. That's okay, we're gonna get there. Okay. The best thing to do with the roll, uh, is to roll into it. Honestly. Roll with the punches. Okay. This one I kind of want to just run back and forth. Not like that though, ideally. Ideally less like that. final boss uh it is kind of there's like a late game boss you can do but this is uh the last boss in in like the main game i suppose the last boss before you get to the post game content holy shit which explains why he's popping off so much Okay. 
He's sort of popping off by necessity. This is the kind of popping off that a person simply has to do. Ouch. Recommend doing the hits from outside the arena? Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's try and get those in. So, that should be fire, right? Where do I have to stand? Does that count? Okay. He was on fire momentarily. Which makes me feel like it does count. Okay, okay, everything's fine. Ah, I dodged into that one. That's a bad feeling. Ah, okay. We're all gonna be safe. We're all gonna have a good time. Jesus, what the Jesus Christ was that? Ah, god damn! When he does that, but I've just dodged. Nightmare. Nightmare bullshit. Woo! Okay, that one actually worked for kind of staying in place. Okay. 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 Oh, for fuck's sake. Um, if I remember correctly, they do the big laser three times. Okay. Okay. So that's how I can sort of keep track of how the fight is progressing. Laser three times. Laser three times, then the fight is over. Okay, let's go. Okay. Those are my four hits. <laughs> Ah! No! <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. I need to remember that they can turn into ball at any moment. When they turn into ball, my life is sincerely less good. Okay, so this is the first of three lasers. Okay. Oh, for fuck's sake. I always dodge very wrong. I need to dodge with more thought rather than completely without thought. That's my hot take for how I could improve at this boss. A pure vessel special? No, no, I hate pure vessel adjacent things. Nope, okay. Okay, we managed to just about dodge that one. Okay. 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 Keep an eye out for pink. Simply dodge it. Laser three. Laser two even. That wasn't too bad. That was a fine laser. That was a ball. Ball is good. Ball is easy enough to keep track of. Oh, whoops. Probably need to dodge these things. Oh, there's a bug in my room. Okay, this is fine. Okay. 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 Damn it! I got stuck on the edge. Okay, so... So three lasers, then a new attack, which is the pure vessel special. And then how many of those are there, trash, out of curiosity? Like three? Or is there just one? Oh god. This is why I can't play video games. I don't know what it is about how I hold a controller, but it really hurts. Like, I've been playing for an hour and 45 minutes, and my knuckles hurt. That's wild. 
Oh, okay, I'm gonna give my hand a break, honestly, because this is very painful. <laughs> Do you have any personal statement tips? You've currently got the head of six on your tail with a swap team and a warrant and I don't know what to do. Oh, my, okay, the best thing I can offer is if you can think of a banging first line, it's worth it. Even if it's a bit out of left field. Like, my first line to my personal statement was something about, like, the, f the, the moment, the moment I decided I wanted to p pursue biochemistry, I was sat in a dark room wearing 3D glasses, um, which is completely true. So like, I don't know, a true fun fact related to the degree you're pursuing is sometimes fun. Because that then led into a uh, thing that I did where as part of my, well, my, my school was sort of affiliated with the university and I got to go to this university for like a few weeks and do a couple of little sessions where I got to learn about stuff. And one of those sessions, I got to hold a, a human brain and I also got to um, see a couple of animations about biochemistry. So those are some very specific things. But if you can have a banger first line, which is a true, but maybe unlikely or odd sounding or funny sounding story that connects to a piece of work experience you've had, or I don't know, maybe a particular book you've read that's relevant to your degree, um, those are good. Other than that, things that show genuine interest. For me, I name dropped some stuff. Like I name dropped a couple of pathways that I knew, obviously my stuff was very biochemistry focused, name dropping a couple of specific pathways that I was genuinely interested in helped. Um, that's all I can think of. Also, I wrote several documents of like bad personal statements before I wrote my actual one. Like I have one still saved to my Google Drive, which was basically me being very sad and just writing like, I don't have any skills. You don't even want to know my real skills anyway, you just want me to say buzzwords. I found just listing some stuff helped as well. Um, like just listing like, what is it I want to do? Why? What have I done in the past two years outside of just basic schooling? That kind of thing. I don't remember exactly how, but for the three fire pattern uh, attack, try and get behind because it usually goes straight forward and slightly off to the side. The three fire pattern. Oh, okay, okay. No, you mean like the three pattern thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You talked about how your passion for the subject started and how you pursued that interest, and also a bit of stuff, uh, a bit about doing stuff with the extras. Like you talked about your EPQ because it was relevant. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't have anything like an EPQ. I'd done like an online course in biochemistry. No, in uh, in epigenetics, so I brought that up. Um, but like, things help. If I'd have done any work experience at that age, which I didn't, and even at this age, the only work experience I've done is I did like a couple days car parking last summer. I would have brought up work experience. That would have helped. But yeah, I, you're supposed to bring up hobbies to be more relatable, but I don't think I really did. <laughs> because it just didn't really fit. Like, I remember it was actually quite a short document. Some open evening stuff and things like school events. Yeah, like, volunteering is good. You want to show them you're interested in the degree, but you're also capable of doing work that has no, like, I don't know, clear... Um, outcome, if that makes sense. Volunteering's good, because it's work you do purely for the motivation of having done work. Like, you're not volunteering for money. Okay. Lasers. Talk room and think about why I like maths. Oh, you should have said maths? Oh, okay. First step to writing your maths personal statement. Stop it. Do something else. Get some help. <laughs> I'm kidding. Maths is fine. I know lots of people that did maths, and they're all healthy individuals who I respect a lot. But also, no. <laughs> Foolish. There'll be a reason you like maths, you know? Like, a lot of people like maths because they like, I don't know, the clarity of problem solving that it normally has. Like problem solving with, you know, lots of logic. Any interest you have in like computer stuff as well might help for maths. 
Like, um, I know that maths and computer science, particularly in, like, the modern day, are very interlinked. Um. Okay. Ah! What is this? This is fine. Oh. Okay. Ah! No! I was doing good. I was doing good. I was doing so good. Uh, done stuff purely out of the fact you could choose to do a thing, then it's a win. Yeah, exactly. Like, the, the epigenetics course I did obviously was good for being vaguely related to biochemistry, but also just the fact that in sixth form, for some reason, I decided it was a good idea to do, like, an entire Coursera course completely of my own free will. I, I, I don't know why I did that. It's completely inexplicable to me. But they liked it. Ah, okay, this is a bad run. Ah, very bad run. Very bad and cringe, not based run. Honestly, might just, um... Might just purpose- yeah, yeah, that was on purpose. That was a purposeful loss. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I had a lot of trouble writing my personal statement, actually. I needed to get it in early as well because of um because I did apply to Oxford. And Oxford wants a personal statement, like they want a, a uni submission by October, like by the end of October. Um which meant that like I needed that thing done so long before everyone else. But I'm glad that I did because even though I didn't go to Oxford in the end, um Getting my personal statement done and my application sent off at the end of October was so helpful in the long run. It made life so much easier. You got unconditional offers purely based on the fact you wrote your EPQ about the progression of forensic technique in the past hundred years and whether it's actually improved uh, the process of convictions considering false charges and open cases and their reason for occurring and then applying for a forensic science course. Yeah, like, you wrote an EPQ specifically on a personal interest in forensic science and then applied to do forensic science. Like, they, they were eating that shit up. Ah, damn it. Okay. Okay, everything's fine. That was fine. Okay. Oh, I don't like the way there's like a neck snap when they when they summon the doors. I don't like that at all. Whoops. Ah! Ah! Oh, damn. That was... That was going so well and everything. Ah! Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. That's tragic. Four out of five unconditional? That is wild. Damn. I think I got like one or two unconditionals and they were from universities that are known to just offer conditionals. So I don't even think, I don't even think it was that big a deal. Where fire? Uh, unconditionals are prohibited now. They might be, they might be more restriction on them. I honestly don't know. Uh, I know there was talk of that in my year when I applied, because in my year, yeah, that my, the university I, I go to offered a lot of unconditionals, as far as I'm aware. Where fire? 
Should I be using fire more often? Let's use fire more often. Okay. Okay. Um. But yeah, in my year there were lots of uh, unconditionals, and I think there was debate. Hookshot, not fire. Yeah, I was using hookshot, I think, in the mindset of uh, the previous walkabout bit. But no, I should. And also because um, the one attack where, like, you're stopped from using uh, controls and you have to click your way out, I was finding that I could still just use hookshot. Although I can use any of them. From the looks of it. Fire is better though. Absolutely better. Ow. Okay, so yeah. That attack you just can use whatever. That's fun. Second phase pog. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. I'm getting better at dodging the rolly bits as well. Uh, by just dodging into them. Ow! Okay. Okay, everything's fine. Yeah, my unconditionals were like, my unconditionals actually were specifically unconditional if I like first choiced the uni um, in question, which I did end up doing, but I did find it very odd um, because, I don't know, it meant that I, I guess I'll never know if I would have done, like, if I would have done that if I didn't have like an unconditional, well, a conditional unconditional. Um, I think I would have anyway, but I guess I'll never know. Ah! Okay, okay. Okay, things are popping off uh, a little bit. Did I win? Please forgive me. That was perfect timing as well because I want to go to bed. <laughs> Today we mourn the passing of a being who shaped the very fabric of our world. The end of a lineage, the last Lord of Doors. Let's go! You could have the chirp they do before they roll stuck in your dreams. Tonight, truly the scariest bit. To some, they were a mysterious leader. I to everyone, they were a mysterious leader. To others, a dark cloud looming over the world. Beautiful. You talked about how your A-level subjects were relevant, what skills I got. Yeah, that's worth bringing up. Because, I mean, you know, you do A-levels for a reason. I didn't really mention mine, but I could have. Driven by a desire to be greater than their creator. Greater than their creator, they then. They him. They him. They'll be remembered for their part in the advancement of door technology. They will. Their ability to maintain order in a dying world. Beautiful. I like that they get a respectful eulogy. Their unwavering determination to evade death. No matter the cost. My scrungly guy is now dead. This is very sad. I miss my scrungly. Okay, we get to open the actual door now, right? So death can actually happen. 
Their pursuits may have been unwise, but the will to live is deeply ingrained. Who is to say what any of us would have done given the same choices as this lord? I would have done the same fucking thing as this lord. I would have done the exact same thing. Anyway, F to pay respects. The time in this world is over. The wink is cute. F. True. The biggest F for this little guy. Damn. The music in that final fight did pop off. That was good. Why do you want death to return exactly? Uh, I, I think it's something to do with the fact that if creatures in this world live too long, their souls basically become poisoned and they become evil beasts that I must fight. Um, in real life, couldn't tell you. In real life, I'd keep that. I'd keep that death shit off the cards. Honestly, I'd keep that uh, far away. Oh, look at them! Look at them! Also, hello, Mint. Hi. Everyone's having a little dinner and rejoicing. I feel like you're the bad guy, not gonna lie. No, 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 this is good. Because all of the crows now are free. They don't have to work for the commission. And people can live. People can live their, their lives to the full. Uh, and Death's a little guy also, exactly. I freed Death, but who is a little guy, from purgatory. No headache today? Yay, good. We love a headache-free day. A headache-free tummy ache free day so we don't have to be brave we can just be happy you think it's because the crows basically just have to work at this place forever and ever exactly exactly like the crows now get to experience the joy of a birth life death cycle which i'm told is joyful i don't agree personally but you know this game is pro-death propaganda pothead my beloved oh they are sharing soup Oh, I'm really glad that this is where our our character is, with Pothead sharing soup in a garden. With the little new life things. They will die, so the expected payoff is negative. Shh, no, no, no. You see these little green things with the yellow heads? They're a sign that the world needs new life. And without the death, we can't have the new life. So we have to have the new life. Mm-hmm. Listen, this game has uh, successfully pro-death propaganda to me. Don't worry. I'm propaganda successfully. Mm-hmm. Trailer farm? I hardly know her. They are besties. Good for them. Based in death build. God damn it. Right. Okay. This was good timing because... I do need to end the stream and go to bed. But we finished Death's Door. I might do another stream where we do some of the post-game content because I know at the very minimum there's a boss fight that I can do and I also know there's that chest in the lake. Um, I don't know if there's any more. Really? If you offered immortality or to die tomorrow, you'd like to choose the latter. Living forever sounds truly miserable. Have a nice sleep though. <laughs> Mint, respectful. And given the reality of the world, probably the healthier choice. It is healthier, I think, to be comfortable with. We're not gonna talk about this, by the way, because it will make me unable to sleep tonight, but I am personally not comfortable with the idea of death at all. And I really wish that I could be, because uh, if I think about it for any duration of time, I get stressed beyond words and can't sleep and get like heart palpitations and then I get anxious. Um, so I would always take the immortality. Um, but I have to be comfortable with the latter. So uh, I can appreciate, I don't know, I'm, I'm jealous of people that are a bit more comfortable with that kind of thing, you know? And it's also the one thing that religion really has going for it. Like, you, you mean that if I just get really into some of these books and I just live by some teachings and I just lean really hard into it, you're telling me I don't have to worry because I can just assume that it'll all be okay as long as I'm good according to some very specific definitions? Uh, sign me up actually. Sign me up. I've got all my death, but not right now. Yeah, me too, me too. Dead doors. Me when the doors are dead. 
Well done, friend. I never doubted you for a second. It will take some time for the world to heal and the order of nature to be restored. We crows will aid the process any way we can. Good, good, good. Good for them. Is that is that Badger? Hello, Badger. That's a heck of an impressive speech, that. Taking out the boss. I hope our lives don't end up worse as a result. <laughs> Me whenever any big change happens. I'm not gonna lie, life was simpler when we just get our assignments done, then clock off, but we can't stay stuck in the past. True. We have to move on. Do you want to come to a mid club night in 20 minutes? I don't know, I'm kind of tired. But like, maybe? <laughs> are you kidding, party? What are the details? <laughs> um, post game excellent Jefferson content? How do I... Okay, here's a door, here's a door. I also like that in, like, at the very final thing, the game puts you with the other crows. That's cute. Hey, what's with the doors? Why are they red? What's what's going on with that? Oi, 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 what's all this then? What's, what's all this then? Do we get a shiny? A rusty bell tower key. Lord of Doors must have dropped it. Ooh. Very glowy doors means there's things to do in that area. Oh, wonderful. Oh, delightful. They've told me where the extra game content is. You love to see it. Right, let's return to the title screen. Uh, I don't know, message me party. Because I've we I mean we've both gotta be awake at 9 a.m. tomorrow. Um and I, I am saying that I'm ending the stream because I'm tired. And I am tired. Um But yes, I'm gonna end the stream. Bell Tower access. I'm guessing that's what I would have to do to get the post-game fight. Maybe as a treat. Um the amount of little guys in this game. This is a game just full of little guys. This is a, an entirely little guy's full game. Also, the um, the desk person, the big crow. Do I do I get to meet them again? I hope so. Right. So I think I am going to play this game again, um, next Monday. But then after we have actually finished with Death's Door, which is probably at the end of next Monday's stream, we're going to do more of Stray. So this Wednesday we have Hollow Knight Pantheons. Saturday we have Skyrim. Next Monday Death's Door, and then the Monday after Stray. 9 a.m. is real. Although you are true. 7, 8, 9. So I guess we just have 7 and, uh, yeah. 7, 8, and 10. So I can't have a 9 a.m. lecture. Thanks, Min. Oh, in that case, I feel way better about staying up later. How many hours do you have now? Uh, in game? Oh, we're 85.6% complete with 15 hours. Okay. Not bad. Yeah, so if we play another few more hours next week, I'm not aiming for 100% completion on stream, but some post-game content would be nice to do. But yeah, I am gonna end the stream. I'll be back on Wednesday. Yes, I will. Um, so until then, I hope you've all had a good time today. A hundred... Oh, a hundred percent took you 20 hours. Oh, okay, so I'm not like... Yeah, I'm on track for a similar sort of time if, if I push for it. But yeah, I'm gonna end the stream. I hope you all have a good rest of your evening, a good rest of your week. Thank you for stopping by. XOXO. Go piss, girl.